I'm currently walking on this bridge from Georgia to Abkhazia. Technically, is still in war, although they haven't seen conflict in 20 years, so it's isolated. This bridge is extremely ominous. In the distance, I see the Abkhazia flag. So, just another day on my journey around the world. So, I was just detained for 10 hours in a country that's unrecognized. That was by far the most stressful feeling of anxiety I've ever had. I had absolutely no rights. They went through all of my stuff. They went through my computer, my phone, uh, hundreds of photos. Um, they asked if I was a student, where I was working. I asked to talk to the U.S. Embassy uh, to Russia in Moscow. I was denied. The, those that were interrogating were all Russian troops. When I went into the city uh, on an escort to the, the, the city jail to basically be stuck there for six hours after being on the border, continuing the interrogation, the troops of Russia changed their uniforms when we went to the city so that they were in the local attire and basically could convince the locals that they weren't Russians when in reality they were. I'm walking on this bridge back into Georgia. Uh, Georgia's in the distance. I've never been so excited to be out of a country that is so oppressed. So I'm gonna try to get a taxi or a bus some way to get to the capital of Georgia to jump on a 1 a.m. flight tonight to Azerbaijan. And that is just one of the most uh, incredibly terrifying uh, experiences uh, I've had on my trip around the world. So now I'm in the train station in Sigdidi, uh, Georgia, uh, and I have to take a different train to get to Tbilisi, uh, the Georgian capital. I was able to refund my old train ticket, get a new train ticket that arrives at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. The challenge is I had to buy a new flight, which leaves at 11.50 a.m. So I don't get to Azerbaijan until 1 p.m. rather than getting there at 3 a.m this morning, but I do save a night in an Azerbaijan hotel, which gives me a $40 savings. So overall, I'm down 60 bucks, but I was able to figure it all out, and I will be in Azerbaijan tomorrow. After that, I fly to Istanbul to then go to Northern Cyprus, another unrecognized country that hopefully I won't get detained for.